Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tisha and today we're doing a Tuesday top 10 and it's a little bit different because it's not Bath and Body Works and it's not quite makeup. So a little bit different. It's a kind of TikTok made me buy it or overhyped things I found off TikTok. So I have 10 products in front of me. There's a one random, I'll start with that one. Then just some body care. I've been doing a lot of shower talk if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and then some makeup products that were super hyped. The problem with the hype is that it's really hard to find some of these things. Some things not really, but other things were on the shelves until they became TikTok famous and now it's like you can't get them. So I can't actually speak to the availability of any of these items, but I can at least tell you if I think they're a spend it, meaning I'm really happy with my purchase or skip it, meaning I really probably wouldn't repurchase or I don't even know if I'll use it up. And then my thoughts on why, because that's very subjective. Something that doesn't work for me may absolutely be your holy grail and that's totally cool. Everybody's different. So not telling you skip it like it's garbage, skip it because I don't think it works for me. But I actually don't have that many of those in here. So we're just gonna jump right in. Um, before I do though, I always kind of forget this. If you're new, hi, my name's Tisha. I do a lot of Bath and Body Works content on here. I'm currently reviewing a couple single wicks. I'm going to bring you in a video this week. Um, I do a lot of makeup hauls and I do a lot of makeup reviews, skincare reviews, um, and box, boxy charm on my channel. So I try to do a really good mix. Um, I really do love Bath and Body Works and that's really was the driving force behind my channel because I was buying so much. I just wanted to come back and talk about it and kind of share my collection. But now I'm getting into all these other things and I love them. I've always been into makeup too, but um, so if you're into that kind of a thing and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. My little family here is growing and I do call you a family because some of you leave a comment on every single video and I don't know how to say how much that means to me. And you also like them and you just have been helping me get noticed in the algorithm, which is very hard until you hit a thousand, you can't really link anything. And that's kind of where I want to get to just so I can link products for you guys and, um, you know, link channels if I'm talking about that kind of stuff. You really under a thousand can't link anything in your description box. I do list everything and I will list these products there, but then you have to do more work by going and searching for them yourself. So that's the goal. Like I said, if we hit it by the end of the year, that's super cool, but that's for another video. We're going to jump into this top 10. So not in any order this time, just because they're all so random. Um, I'm just going to let you know if I glad I spent it or if I would have skipped it. So that will kind of maybe help you decide if you're still on the hunt for some of these things, if you want to keep hunting for them, because because some of them are gone. <laughs> so let me know what you guys have tried out of this list and if you kind of agree with me or if they were your skip it's because I would love to know that down below. So the first thing is this water bottle. So about the beginning of the year, this is actually on my Christmas wish list. I started, you know, following TikTok before then, watching videos, but I don't actually post anything over there. I don't quite understand it yet. I do love to watch though. But um, I put this on my wish list because I wanted to drink more water. I have a thousand water bottles, but this one I liked because it had the tracker on it. So it starts at 8 a.m. and it ends at 8 p.m. And it's a half gallon. So if I drink a half gallon of water every day, I feel better. My skin looks better. All the things. So I do usually, so when I was doing the 75 hard, uh, program. I was drinking two of these a day because the goal is a gallon a day. That is not something I can do every day. But while I was doing that program, this was such a lifesaver because I knew I didn't have to count how many little bottles I was drinking. I could fill this up twice and I was good to go. So I kind of could set myself a like halfway point for the day. You know, I didn't really get to follow this, but it did motivate me to at least every hour meet the next line instead of every two, like it's listed on this bottle. But when I'm getting busy at work, I will tell you that this is so helpful because I'll get started, I'll be good, and then I'll get busy. And I might miss like one or, you know, get down to another line and it helps me kind of have a little water chug session when I'm thirsty and it keeps me on track. So this is a spend it if you're in the market for something like that. If you don't like counting up little bottles and if you want to set yourself like a water goal every day, I definitely noticed a difference in my skin. And I've talked about that a little bit with, I'm gonna put this down because it's super heavy. I've talked about that a little bit with the different skincare, my diet and the water. It's a combo, but my chin used to break out with every time I'd wear a mask, every time I'd eat something bad, it was just hormonal acne. I kind of, I mean, I'm in my late 30s, so, it's kind of hard to be in an acne journey when you're 
as old as me because I'm like, wait, so I get wrinkles on acne? Cool. That seems fair. Um, but this water, the diet, and then the skincare, not focusing on acne products that are supposed to treat acne, but more moisture and hydration have really been making a difference. I have very few little tiny things right now. And, you know, it's kind of that time of the month where I'm going to be getting that. So I almost can't stop all of it, but I've kind of really helped about 80% of it. And I mean, for, I didn't struggle with it as a teen. So for me to struggle with it in my late thirties, it's kind of like, dang, you know, I'm like starting the, the skincare journey pretty late in the game. So I definitely like sharing that stuff with you guys because I really do think water does make a huge difference in your skin. So then I'm going to go through a few more things. So this is something, it's the, um, per periotherapy, the health, the, the, the TheraBreath Periotherapy Healthy Gums Oral Rinse. And I actually had used this many, many, many years ago, recommended by my dentist. Then I stopped and I was just grabbing something from Crest or something from Walmart. And I saw this on um, TikTok and I just saw a lot of people were really hyping it up. It's an anti-gingivitis uh, formula and I don't have bleeding or receding gums, but again, just as my dental health, as, me, as you're aging, everything starts aging. I definitely just wanted to get ahead of the game. I definitely like the way this makes my gums feel. Um, I am kind of a horrible flosser. I do try to floss, but um, this definitely makes my gums where I'm going to floss between my teeth feel much better. So I like that it's alcohol free and they don't taste bad. So this one I just, um, I not necessarily bought because of TikTok, but as it was getting more popular again, I grabbed it and I'm kind of glad to put this back into my rotation. So um, I don't, it doesn't have like a, there's a bunch of different flavors, if you will. And I've tried the green one and I don't know exactly, this must be maybe mint, I'm thinking, because it's minty to me. But anyway, so those are a recommend if you're looking for something like that. Again, not a, I'm glad I spent it, but if you already have something that works for you, then you're not in the market. So then I have tried this twice. So this is going to be kind of, I can't really say if we should spend it or save it, but it's the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. And it's from First Aid Beauty. And I just got this in that Trend Mood box and I've used it a couple times. I'm getting a little dent in there and my arms do feel really nice. I just use it back here where you're supposed to get that KP. I don't remember what it stands for. Let's see if it's on the back. Oh... I did used to know what it was, but it's KP is for what it's called that those little white bumps that appear on the back of your arms. I'm not sure if any of you know what I'm talking about, but this has a 10% AHA is safe for sensitive skin. And, um, so far, like I said, I haven't gotten them really bad, but like right back here, I used to get a few of those bumps and I don't, I looked this morning and I don't have any. So this for me is a spend it because I think my arms feel really nice. It's that's the only place I put it. So I can't say if it's good for exfoliating your body or anything, but I'm going to keep trying this and I'll bring it into like another skincare review. But this was on all over the rage on TikTok. So I'm sure you've seen it if you've been watching some of the hygiene hauls and things um, recently. So like I said, they put it in that box probably because of TikTok and um, I really do like it, but I haven't been using it long enough to say it's a must have. So another thing that you guys have seen me do a full review on were the Hero Cosmetics, the Mighty Patch. This is definitely a spend it. I really like putting these on something fresh um, at, around my chin as it's getting kind of that time of the month. The next morning, the tan patch turns white and it has pulled some of the stuff out of that um, blemish and it's healing much quicker. It takes out kind of like the itch, you know, how your skin is, it's like, popping through kind of itches and you want to touch it and you shouldn't touch your face. I really recommend these. You can get them at Target. You can get them on HeroCosmetics.com. I think you can actually subscribe and maybe get a deal if you are going to use them that regularly. But with the mask wearing too, just notice that these have been really helpful for me. So that one is a spend it. I'm definitely going to buy more. Um, and I want to try the other kinds. They have a few different colors and I don't know what the difference is. So if I find anything out major, I will let you guys know. Okay, so a couple more body and then a few, um, a couple more body care and then a few makeup items. Just a couple, guys. So this one actually is a TikTok made me buy it. It's a The Ordinary. I love The Ordinary. I tried a few things, but very gentle things. So 
This one scared me a little bit. It's the AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. So it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. So it does something in that 10 minutes. This is not a product where you need to like wait several weeks to see results. Um, it's strong. So you definitely want to follow the direction specifically. You definitely want to do a patch test just to check your skin. Cause again, if you put this all over your face and your skin doesn't like it, so I can't tell you to spend it, but if you're in the market for this product, um, they've compared it to some other things out there. Like, um, I think the baby facial from Drunk Elephant, which is $80. This was like $7, but I've only, I mean, I've been using it for a month, but I use it once a week. So it's not going to, it's going to take me the rest of my life to get through this jar, I think. But this really does a nice job of cell turnover. The next morning after I use this, so I'll usually use it, I'll do like, um, a, like a like a night that I'm gonna do an oil or a serum. I don't do that every night either. This will go on first for 10 minutes. It looks like it's kind of, I mean, if you put all over your face, you're gonna see it's this color. So it kind of looks like you're, um, let me see if I can bring it up here. It's gonna look like you're covering your face in blood. It's kind of gross, but it's this color. And you just, you know, apply it all over your skin, let it sit for 10 minutes and wash it off completely at the towel here. And um, it does help with cell turnover. So again, you're getting rid of some of that dry, dead skin cells on the top layer. So it's brightening. Um, it's not a brightening product, but it makes my skin look brighter because it's getting rid of that dull skin on top, if that makes sense. But this is a spend it. But again, I, I caution you to very much read the directions on this. But if you're in the market for something that doesn't cost $80 and has results, I really do recommend this product from The Ordinary but it is a um, strong product. So you have to read the directions, follow them. Like I said, you can't go in every day, not gonna work. Um, you're gonna have red peeling, flaking, dry, crusty skin. But if you use it once for the 10 minutes, I'm telling you, you're gonna see a difference. This is something that I absolutely love. This is, if you like coconut and coffee, this is a spend, spend, spend. So, when I first put this in my shower, it was weird to smell coffee and coconut. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it's really nice, but it is not something that I have in other products in my collection. So, um, but I really like the coffee grounds. They are, it's um, coconut oil and Arabica, Arabica coffee. Yeah, I think that's right. Boost hydration while promoting supple skin. Perks up your senses with a fresh sense of coffee. I love this first thing in the morning. I mean, I'm getting up to shower at like 4.35 o'clock in the morning, so... This is must is like a must have, but as I'm using it, I really love the gentle exfoliation of the coffee grounds. It's something I can use every day all over my body and I'm not noticing any type of irritation. So if you like those scents, this is a grab. Um, I'm seeing, I mean, I've, I'm sure you've seen other um, scents and different OGX products. They are very hyped on TikTok. So this took me a while to find. I actually went to a Target, Walmart. I went to another Walmart. Found two, so I grabbed one. Um, didn't I couldn't find the lotion because I like to pair. But um, this one is a grab, and I'm gonna feature this in my scrubs video because I've kind of come up with a list of ten products, all different kinds of scrubs. Which ones I like, which ones I don't. So that'll be coming first couple weeks of May. But this one is really really nice if you like those scents. If you don't like those scents, they're strong enough. I do not think you'll like that product. Which brings me to my next scented product. So can you do a TikTok video without including the tree hut scrubs? Um, this is the lemon and blueberry tart. This is just the one I used last night and I have several. I do kind of stick more towards the sweet ones. This smells really good though. It smells really good. I really do like this one. This is probably the only <clears throat> tart one I have in my collection. Hold on one second. Diet Coke from McDonald's not sponsored. But I love putting this on before I shave my legs. It really makes a difference. I get a much closer shave. And then when I get out, moisturize with my um, body cream, probably a Bath and Body Works of something. This, I just, the, the combo, I'm just constantly like feeling my legs. I'm just like, they're so smooth. So it's going to be great for summer to have all these different varieties. Um, and good luck finding these though. They are gone everywhere, everywhere. So... But that one is definitely a spend. If you can find some of these tree hut scrubs, then you should get you should get yourself some because they are sold out everywhere, but they're really, really nice. I mean, that's definitely a spend. That'll be in my scrub video as well.
And then the last three products are makeup products. So these are going to be the ones where I say probably skip it if you don't need it. I'll start with the one that I won't. So this is the L'Oreal, the infallible 24 hour fresh wear uh, foundation and powder. I've kind of switched, um, changed up my game here with this powder. So this is something I can wear every day. I have the shade uh, 120 vanilla and it blurs all of the pores, uh, you know, near my T-zone, makes that area look so bright and nice and smooth and blurred. And I mean, I've been using this thing for a couple months now and you can barely tell. I use this little powder puff, I use a brush, I've used a sponge. Um, I will go in and spots conceal and then I'll use this and it's just like quickly become one of my favorite products. And again, sometimes it's hard to, when you're watching TikTok and you see the super young girls putting on these products and saying they blur, it's like, well, yeah, but you've got really good skin. Um, I don't. And this really, really sits on my skin nicely. So I have to say, this is a spend. Again, you can't find this anywhere. I know Amazon's carrying the full shade range if you order from Amazon. I mean, Ulta's probably going to get restocked too, but I've gone to like several Walmarts, several Targets, and they have like two shades. So it's like so random that you're going to run into this product in store, which, you know, is hard because a lot of us don't like to buy foundation products online and just guess. But that is a, that is good. I'm going to get another one just because usually they discontinue products like this when I like them so much. I used to love the CoverGirl True Blend Powder and that got discontinued before I could get a backup. So this I would definitely consider if um, you like to wear a full coverage. It doesn't really give me full coverage feeling, but it does do the full coverage benefits of like blurring out imperfections, evening your skin tone. Um, like I said, giving you that young TikTok girl vibe skin. But they were right about this. I'm just saying they already had good skin. So um, and the next one I have is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Primer. I do like this product. Um, and again, this is kind of dupe, one of those TikTok dupes for the um, Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It is very sticky. And that's why I would say you have to already tried a product like that and said that it's okay because this took me some getting used to. I had already tried the Hydro Grip Primer, just a mini. And um, I'm glad I did because if I would have put this on first, it's very sticky. It's got a nice cooling effect, but I have a few products that do that that don't leave that sticky feeling. It makes your makeup sit on your skin nicely, but you really have to know how to go in with your products after this. Um, but it does, I mean, again, my makeup, it's on today under this powder, um, under concealer, and I really do like the way it makes my makeup stay, but I'm just, I have to mention that stickiness because it's very sticky to me. And you just have to know that that's okay with you. So. This is a spend for me. I'm super good with it. I don't know that I'll repurchase it just because I like trying new products. But if you don't like sticky stuff on your face, this is a skip. <laughs> and then the last one is my skip it. Um, this one was super hyped on TikTok. It's the Lash Sensational from Maybelline Sky High. And I've been using this for a while. But this wand, y'all, I cannot with how bendy it is. Look, it's so flexible and maybe... That is the reason people like this. But for me, and again, I have a lot of length. It's so bendy. I have a hard time just keeping it on my lashes. And it doesn't like flexible. It's not, it's so flexible that it's like kind of working its way through my lashes. And I've smacked my, I have a little bit of a hooded eye situation. I should probably preface this whole thing with that. This is okay. I'm going to use this up, but I would never repurchase this. And again, if that's your jam, then this is the product for you. But with just as flexible as this wand is, and it's a nice shape. I like wands like this, but it's it's just the most flexible wand I've ever tried. So I have length that makes a mess with this stuff. So this to me is super overhyped. I'm not quite sure what type of lashes length or what you have going on that this is perfect for, but definitely not long um, I have long lashes and not ones that you want curl. These, this does not curl your lashes. It doesn't separate your lashes because the wand is pretty weak. Um, so I just, I guess I don't get the hype on this. I'm going to use it. And then in three months, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't, I don't reach for this. I've been reaching for samples over this, but this is one of the full sizes I'm, I have out right now just to use up. And, you know, you open a new mascara and you're like, okay, maybe it needs to just like dry out a little bit. 
And then I kept trying it and I was like, no, it's not doing any of the things for me. It's not lengthening. It's not curling. It's putting a little bit of product on there, but that wand is so flexible and kind of weak. I mean, I can't think of other words to describe it that I'm really having to be careful. And again, I just, there's so many drugstore mascaras I like better. So if this is your jam and you can still find it and get your hands on it, then that's cool. I wanted to love this more than I did. So this is my 100% skip. I'm kind of almost ready to just throw it out because you guys know I have like a thousand in backups, but that's going to do it for me. Um, have you guys tried any of these TikTok hyped up products? Um, <clears throat> do, you, do you guys have other ones that you would suggest for me to try? I just absolutely love trying new stuff. Um, I do have a good batch here of stuff though. I did, really did try not to make this all one thing or the other, not all makeup, not all skincare. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about any of these products and th something I missed, cause you know, it's like the end of the day work and grocery shopped and the wind got me again. And so I may have missed some of the notes I meant to say about these products. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. But other than that, I am going to say goodbye and I'll see you in a video tomorrow. Thank you guys. Bye.